Yeah, look, it's an interesting one, Brent. I guess you've got uh, two models on show on Sunday that are poles apart, really, with obviously Maddie's boys at AFL standalone, and of course, we have the little boys from Stroker Street down there at uh, Williamstown. Come so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of experience, but you know, we're just trying to jump into the 70s down there. As well. <laughs> so, from that point of view. I'm not sure those sunglasses on the battery are the 70s, mate. Well, that's because we're modern. <laughs> <laughs> So for us, because of the facilities and the infrastructure, if we were to win, that would make up for all the things that these players don't have, whereas Geelong do, because obviously they're full-time footballers and the environment with uh, what's going on down there, it's just amazing from uh, what's changed over the years. And that's full credit to them because they've become a powerhouse in the AFL. And obviously the development this year under Matty has been uh, quite meteoric, really, when you think about it. Although they were travelling pretty well towards the back end of last year. So for us to go back to back, I would think of nothing better for the investment that guys like John, the leadership group, and the players that actually pull on the Port Melbourne jumper. And it would be a crowning glory, if you like, for these guys who are part-timers and that they've got full-time commitments, whether it be university or whether it be jobs. Uh, John's you know, running his own business with his father and. You know, if you try and maximise the time while you're there, but you also minimise them being away from their other commitments. So for us to do it again in this era and with this uh, current format, I think it just keeps throwing up suggestions that different alignments or different models can actually work rather than just having uh, alignments. And you know, Richmond's obviously decided to go a particular way within 12 months. Williamstown and Western Bulldogs, not sort of sure you know, what's going to go on there. Obviously, Bendigo are coming into the competition next year as a standalone VFL club. So I think by us winning last year, when a lot of people said it couldn't be done, it was actually just given, I think, other models a really good opportunity to sit back and say, well, is this really the right way to go? But I think what that does also, too, is it evens up the competition because it obviously was being uh, run and won by the North Ballarat Roosters there for a few <coughs> years. So when we always want to have a say in where we're going. But you know, the club's been courageous in its standalone model, obviously along with Frankston as well. So, uh, But look, we've identified Geelong a, a super talented team. You know, when we played them a couple of weeks ago, I think they had 18 listed AFL players. Uh, they beat us down there at Cadinia Park early in the year in uh, pretty heavy conditions. So. You know, we both get out here. There's, I think, a bit of a fallacy that we can't uh, handle speed. And we show that, that we play well here. So we're just looking forward to it. I'm sure as Matthew's boys are, bring on the best two hours of your football life on Sunday.